what's going on today guys so today is Sunday the 10th which means tomorrow is the 11th and that is my two-year anniversary for having this 2016 Z800 so I figured what a better way to do it than to do the two-year I guess you call it a long-term review on the bike pretty funny story that the day I got this bike I crashed it the very same day got it, it had about 980 miles or something on it and took it out took it to a friend's house and hit the throttle and there's dirt in the middle of the road and that was it uh, bike slid out to the right I high sided destroyed the left side of the bike destroyed the left side of my body which there's a video which I'll link it in the description it's, it's funny now but sucks really bad at the time I had four broken ribs broken left elbow torn open right knee torn open toe lacerated my spleen and I'm still paying on that medically which is fantastic um, but you know it was a learning experience anyways so I figured I'd come back to it Tomorrow's a two year anniversary and do a little review on how I like the bike. I first saw a Z800, I think it was Chase on Two Wheels, did a review on it. And ever since then, for whatever reason, it really, really stuck with me. And I just thought, man, I was like, God, I gotta have that bike. And at the time, I had a Suzuki GW250Z which, I don't know if you know what that bike is or not, look it up, but man, I looked like a bear on a unicycle on that thing. It was horrible. I mean, it was a really good learning bike, but damn, I look funny. Anyways, um, so I went into a ride down here in town and lo and behold, they had one sitting in the, on the floor. So that was it. I was like, I gotta have this bike. So I just figure I'll start off with the bad. Because um, I don't want to end the video talking about the bad. I want to end the video talking about the good. So the bad, I mean the main bad thing that everyone talks about with this bike, and it's true, is it's heavy as hell. You're talking 510 pounds wet. And if you know sport bikes, that is a heavy bike, especially for modern sport bikes. Oh, I just got this new rear, this front sprocket put on. Oh man. Uh, of course, a Prius is going to pull out right and then try to hit it, but I'll do it here in a minute. But I recommend a front sprocket. Anyways, so I get the bike. Um, where was that? Oh, yeah. So it's really, really heavy. But it carries it really down low, and it carries it really well. Everybody that I've ever been on or let ride this bike, or just very few, always say it doesn't feel like it's that heavy. But... If you're throwing this thing into a corner, it gets pretty heavy. You know, you can feel it kind of want to dip down on you, which if you're not ready for it, here you go. If you're not ready for it, I mean, it could be a problem. So, that being said, one of the other bad things about this bike is that it's hard to find parts for it. It's not very common in the United States. I think I've seen one other one in Arizona and that was all the way in Phoenix. And every time I try to get parts for it, they're either back ordered, sold out, or I have to get them from freaking Germany for some reason. Um, and it takes forever. So if you do get one of these bikes, just know that it's not very common and you're probably gonna be waiting for parts if they even have the parts. And to me, honestly, those are the two only bad things about this bike. Um, other than that, I love it. The good is this is a in-city monster, essentially. It, it has torque and it has just this low down power just right off the line, first gear. It goes. It wants to go. Which I can show you here. Oh yeah, here's the boneyard for Davis Monthan. It's pretty cool. But, I mean, it just... It wants to take off. It does not want to sit still. So for in-city, 
going around cars, um, really taking off to beat traffic somewhere. You know, it's it's fantastic and it's just a whole lot of fun. And I mean, it. I've ridden other bikes, but it just doesn't get any funner than this one. Yeah, I'll show you. Once you get down to the the higher end, you know, it does start to slow down because it's a naked and so but if you want an in-city fun bike, the Z800 is your bike and it's manageable. It's not like a FZ09 where it just pops up constantly and, and everything. Um, another good thing about it is it's a modern bike that doesn't have a lot of the stupid control or computer stuff that a lot of these cars have. Or like bikes have, which to me is perfect. That's ABS, and anyone that tells you you don't need ABS, they're they're stupid. ABS will save you before you even know what happens. And another good thing about this bike is it looks to me it looks fantastic. Uh, I absolutely love the bike, and everywhere I go, I get questions about it all the time. You know, what is this bike? Is it a European bike? You know, stuff like that. I mean, it is freaking awesome. Hey, I know this guy. I've ridden with him before. But everybody loves it. I've had a great time on it. There's only a couple bad things about it, which are very, very well. Like, you can get over it. And for $9,000 new, I mean, I, it's amazing. Like, it's perfect. So, that's my review on the Z800. You can do your own research on it if you're looking to buy one, but I can honestly say, I do not think you'll be disappointed in it whatsoever. So, that's about it. I'm about to go get me a uh, QT pretzel with some cheese, which I don't know if you ever had it or not, but, oh my God, it's so good. So, other than that, if you have any questions or comments or any topics you want me to talk about, stuff like that as usual, put it in the comments. And as always, like, or like I said earlier, I'm going to put my crash video in the comments, which, or in the, in the description, which you guys get to watch and laugh at me and talk shit and stuff like that. So, all right, guys, I'll talk to you later. Have a good one now.